Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing my worlds in Minecraft modded. Um, it's, well, it's an avatar, I guess, themed world, so I've got a pro bending outfit on, currently trying to master earth bending, so I've got the, the green lines. Um, so a few mods. Well, actually, I've got a lot more than just a few mods. Um, yeah, pretty much I'm just going to be walking around and uh, showing off some stuff. So, I've got a room in here, some chests and dogs, and friend's room down there. This, I will uh, show off in episode two whenever that happens, which is my current big project I'm working on. Um, I've got a nice kitchen here, and one of the mods is chisel and bits, so I'm able to make all these miniature things, like this pot on the campfire, or just fire, and uh, furniture mods. So there's uh, lots of things in here. Uh, we've got a hot tub, I guess using the hot springs water from, I think, biomes of plenty. Um, now let's get into the interesting stuff. So there is, well, in here this would be like a model room, so I've got this model of a village. So that, uh, that was fun to build. But when we head outside, we can see these, uh, islands so there was a little bit of world edit for these islands but because it world edit can be used in survival I was okay with it but I've only used it on the islands so if I just uh, oh what's all right every time my uh, my abilities go away every time you join into the world. That's annoying. Keybinds are reset, but this is Cherry Blossom Island. These trees took a while to find some saplings for, and then hot springs water. Uh, this build is not complete, but it's being worked on. I've got some supplies here. I guess this was blown up by a creeper. Uh, and then we've got this little starter base here with some airbenders. Um, still, I guess, in progress, but I haven't really been working on it lately. Um, yeah, so that's that island. I think there was like a stage here. Yep, stage. And, uh, so, because this world is avatar themed, we have bending, and as you can see, I've got air bending, um, sand bending, oops, uh, fire bending, and earth bending. So, uh, so basically, in this world, you start with a bending type, and so in my case, I started with air bending. And once you master all four, all of the, the moves to level four, you can move on to your next bent element. And so I've done the same with fire. So now I'm working on earth, which I, uh, I'm still working on, of course. And I've got sand as a sub bending type because I found it in some desert temples. So that's how that is right now. We've got um cow and sheep area which isn't really used too much because I'm starting to go off potatoes um, and the armor disguise mod well cosmetic armor so you don't have to um, see the armor over top of your skin if you don't want to and so an interesting thing about these islands is that one is based off of air like an element this one is the water one based on avatars like the North Pole or South Pole. This was a snowy island based off of that with a wall. 
I think that's made out of marble. And with this chisel, for example, you can make all these different textures. So that's, I have marble bricks. Um, oh dang, well, that sucks. Um, so I still need to make a fire-based island, but that one right there, I'm sure you can see the bridge, is based off of earth. So, let's just head over there. This icy area was actually made by a dragon that I own while I was testing its abilities. It's not in my inventory, but you can see the dragon command staff. Alright, so he- oh! Alright, so we also have the parasite mod, and uh, it turns out there's a parasite and a creeper on this island because I never light it up. Oh, there we go. And dead. Right, so this would be the, I guess, earth-based uh, island because of all the sand and rocks. Oh! What the? Right, so my uh, thought behind this is that you could sand bend here, I guess, but... So that's how I um, imagined this island. The I think the fire one is going to have a volcano. I'm not completely sure. Um, right, so now for the interesting thing, I'm not sure uh, how many of you have watched Legend of Korra, but if you have, congrats, because it's a great show. And you will completely understand what I'm building over here. So I decided to go for underground because it's my own take on something in Legend of Korra, but if we go into the dragon cave through this door, which I might make a piston door later, I'm not completely sure. If you head down here, there is a pro bending arena. So this is obviously from Legend of Korra, and so how this works is water benders can water bend through here, but it will use up the water source after a few uses, so you have to be smart about it. And earth benders, if I use earth control can do this but it will automatically replenish it so I can see I still need to light up this area but any one of these you can just take some earth out of and it'll fill it back up so that's uh, how I dealt with the water and earth bending problem because when building a pro bending arena water and earth benders they don't uh, they don't have just an infinite source of bending. They need water or earth to bend, so that's how that works. It was very annoying to make, actually. And it looks like I still haven't fixed these two, so... I'll, um... I'll fix those in a few minutes, I guess. It's just the redstone clock messing up or something. But, yeah, it's got some viewing stands, and I still need to make the platform on that side. Other than that, that's pretty much done. And, uh, yeah, so... This is the world I've been playing in for a little while. While, uh... While I haven't, uh, been uploading. And this is for dragons, because this is the Dragon Island area, I guess. Um... So, I'm guessing I'm just gonna put this here. There we go. That's the bridge so dragons can take off easier. And a nice pathway. So, yeah, I've been uh, making some stuff in this world for the past while. And hopefully I can start a series out of it. Um, also, you might notice in the top corner, I have speedster abilities because I have the Lucraft core mod which adds some of the stuff in this ore chest that we have here, so like the silver ingots here, but there's also silver from ice and fire uh, there's copper from Lucraft, tin, uh, uranium dwarf star alloy lead, so there's 
all this stuff. We've also got the um, avatar add-ons. So if I go to like water, you can see there's like water tribe armor and uh, there's like air nomad armor and airbender wingsuit and firebender armor and earth kingdom armor. So there's a lot of stuff. We've got quite a bit of mods on this world actually, so yeah, we've got like the sparks and armor stuff and weapons or shields and weapons, so yeah, this world has quite a bit going on. I'd say this is probably the centerpiece, but uh this I will show off in the next video. I'm still working on some of it. I've got the base walls done, but that that's about it. So yeah, that's uh, that's my world, and oh jeez, let's just deal with this guy. I don't understand why <laughs> these parasites are so annoying. And there's a zombie there. There, so bending can be pretty overpowered sometimes, so. My goal, I guess, is to master all four elements of bending, and eventually all the the sub-bending types. That would be pretty cool if I could do that, which is uh, pretty great. I also have the, of course, the four um, styled islands, and uh, yeah, that's um, that's really it. I'm just building as much as I can. So, I guess that's uh, my tour, and I guess we could turn this into a series soon, and episode two, I will be uh, doing some of this, so, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed just a quick explanation of what I've been doing for the past while. And uh, I hope you guys will enjoy maybe a few episodes or potentially turning this into an ongoing series. Because as you know, there is another member to this world. Uh, Grim Ripper, also known as Grim. And uh, he um, started off with water bending and then has air bending, which still needs to be mastered. But yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys want to see another episode of this and you enjoyed. And hopefully I can get Grim in for an episode sometime. So if you guys enjoyed, smash that like button. Click subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when the next episode comes out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.